Okay, so um, okay, we are going to approach the concept of square roots and cube roots using prime factorization. If you still remember, I mentioned that prime factorization can help us with four things. So, so prime factorization means you do your letter method and it will be ex the number that you are doing prime factorization on will be expressed as the index notation. So, so far, you have been using your prime factorization for your LCM and HCF. So, we're going to add on two more things. So, prime factorization is going to help you with um, taking square roots. And it will be helping you to take cube roots as well. So, maybe you are not very familiar with square roots and cube roots at the moment and the significance of it. Okay, so let's uh, explore the uh, answering first and we explore the idea behind it. Okay, so if you look at example one, the question is for you to find the square root of 5184. So essentially, I can use my calculator and got the answer. So you should see your square root button. So you try punching calculator. So if you try punching calculator, your calculator will have given you a 72. So that is a calculator answer. But right now, we're going to use our prime factorization to achieve the same answer. So the steps are very simple. So first of all, you do your prime factorization first. So whatever that you are doing, okay, you can do your letter method, you can do your branching out method. So I will not be showing the whole prime factorization process. The idea is whatever method that you are using, at the end of it, I should be able to see that this is expressed as the index notation. So that is the end product of a prime factorization. So how are you, how is going to, how is that gonna help us to take a square root? So the 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 trick is to take half the powers. The trick is to take half the power of the square root. Okay, so let's explore. So your job is to take note of the presentation. So the question is asking you to take square root 5184. So what you should do is right, you change out the 5184. The 5184 has been changed to index notation. So after I change out, I'm going to take half of the power. Taking half of the power is the same as dividing the power by two. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do a six divided by two. So when you divide by two, you are already taking the square root. Four divided by two. So you punch your calculator, you will get you a 72. Exactly the same answer as the calculator. So what is the significance of this 72? So when we say square root of 5184 is 72. So the meaning is 72 times 72 is equal to 5184. So that's the significance of the square root. Okay, so notice the presentation. I replace this with my prime factorization and then I divide the power by two. So dividing the power by two is already taking a square root. That's why from this line to this line, you realize that I no longer write the square root. You realize I no longer write the square roots. No more square root because I'm already dividing by two. So this kind of question, right, you can actually check on your calculator. The calculator square root and your prime factorization square root should give you the same answer. So it's the same idea as cube root. Okay, so if you check out from your calculator, okay, you should be getting a cube root button. Okay, so if you do the pressing, you will get a 12. So the significance of a cube root means that, right, if you do a, 
If you do 12 times 12 times 12 three times, it will give you 1728. That is the meaning of a cube root. So the number that you cube root means, right, in the end, if you multiply it three times, you'll get back the same number. So again, how are you going to do that? To the prime factorization. So same thing, do your ladder process, do your branch up process, whichever that you're going to be comfortable. So by now you should have no mistake in your prime factorization. So at the end of it, you should express this as an index notation. So just now when we take a square root, we divide the power by two. So right now for cube root, we divide the powers by three. So the presentation will be like this. The symbol for cube root is there's a tiny three here. Replace the number with the prime factorization. Replace the number with the prime factorization. And if you would like to do a cube root, you divide the power by three. And you punch calculator. That's how I gotten the two. So it's the same as the calculator answer. The calculator also return you a two. Okay, so these are the two additional function of uh, prime factorization. So all in all, prime factorization can help you with four items. So it can help you to answer the four types of questions that are related. So these are fixed questions. 